Hey guys, it's uh, Eric Sawfatty here with a cooking video, finally. Uh, so, today, we'll be making pork chops. Now, these type of pork chops, jeez, I can really use some shaving, I guess. Is there a rash breaking out right there, I guess? That's from the burn. Anyhow, sorry about that. And we're making pork chops today. And these here are going to be healthier pork chops. Because we're using steamed vegetables. I just grabbed baggies of them because we have them. And what you will need for this, of course, is the meat. And just a small pan but with just a very, very thin layer of water. No thicker than maybe the tip round of your from your thumb like very little then you want some seasoned salt and some normal tabletop pepper and of course your oven mine's still warming up but set it to about 370 ish 380 i am not wearing a shirt i need to set this up i really hate not having a bipod so third i'm gonna see if i can't find one that actually works. Huh. Working with the cupboard actually works. Didn't think that. So this warms up. We're going to prep our meat. So this here is going to be the kind of meat preparation half and cooking of it. Um, hopefully we can make a jump to when we finally have this cooked. It does take a little time and this is slow cooking with an oven instead of just cooking over a counter or cooking on a George Foreman, but it's a way that brings out a bit more of the flavor, in my kind of opinion. So first thing you want to do, have your seasoning salt. Now you want very, very little of this. So what I say is, take the palm of your hand, you won't even need that much. Then ball up. Shake your fist up. All over the meat to give it just that light layer. Mine just needs a pinch more. There we go. So the way the meat should look is it looks like there should be some heavier spots. So I'll show you. But more of it landed. But it's actually a very nice pace out of what it is. After that, take your pepper. Now mine's in a pretty controllable container, but some people have ones with tons of tiny holes like this. This is okay, but use your hand. But I suggest no more than maybe two spoonfuls, like two like small cereal spoonfuls, like not even that. Maybe even just a spoonful. So I'm gonna just shake a little bit on here. I will show you how this should look. Alright. Yeah, that's not even a spoon, actually. Why did I overcook that? Why did I overthink that? So, here's what the meat should look like after you put on your spices. Mine says this is not marinating it, mainly because I'm still learning about marinating and stuff like that. So, there's that done. So what I always do, even if the oven's just warming up, I toss things because it kind of speeds it up and it gives it a bit more flavor to me. But again, that's my opinion. So, we'll go ahead. I should just top rack because heat does tend to rise. And once it's getting to that bottom of the pan, it's cooking in the bottom just as much as it cooks the top. So, my steamed are actually just baggy. You throw in the microwave for a few minutes, steams them, makes them good, whatever. Those go in after that's about 90% of the weight uncooked. You microwave these now, or steam if you're just using flat out fresh vegetables. Steam them now, chop them, do whatever you gotta do. I'm just using these for right now because that's what we got. And about 90% of the way through, I'm gonna see if I can't 
edit this to do like a video cut of it. Like I don't know how, but I can try. So it may be a little bit extra editing, but when we come back to this, it'll be about 90% done at that point. It should only take about 5-10 minutes after that to cook that rest of the way. Keep your seasoning salt and pepper out because you will want to add just a little bit for the vegetables. Not again and again. I would add just a little bit less than what you already had. It's like not even a pinch of the stuff on each side for the vegetables and barely a pinch of pepper on each side of the vegetables. So, whilst this is cooking, I'll go ahead, take you guys to the microwave, toss this in. Uh, again, these are like, toss them in for like a minute. Half to three minutes says in the wrapper. So for this, it'll be two minutes now. And then around that 90% mark, we're gonna come back, put it in for another two minutes, as we wait for the pork chop to cook. So, see you guys when that's done. Okay. So now that some time has passed by, this is either gonna be a part two, or this is going to be in the video if I find out how to edit this together. Um, so we are at about the 80% way, 80-90%. Um, it's been quite a few hours. I started this project at 2 and it's going on. Well, I started this at 5 and it's going on 7.1. I was thinking about something different. So yeah, it takes about 4 hours to do. It's a very lengthy uh, set up for this, but it is pretty decent in the long run. So now, now we're at that point that is still cooking. Let's get these ready. Now, I've already steamed them up a couple hours ago, so they're about perfect to just toss them right in. I don't suggest, I don't suggest leaving them out for like an hour to win this, but I've done it before like this and it's just fine. However, I do suggest doing it like freshly out of the microwave or steamer just to kind of, you know, get flavor. So we open up the top of the bag in such a way that we do not... Ooh, that smells really good. Don't do too much damage. So what I'm currently using is broccoli and carrots. So, now that we have this open, it smells just like greenery. Ketchup. Really weird thing to say, but uh, oddly adds a little bit of flavor. Now, you don't have to do this per se, and it could be really any kind of it that you enjoy, but I'm a huge ketchup fan and barbecue fan, so since I don't have barbecue, we use ketchup. You just want to put just a little bit in. Just a little bit. Not even a whole spoonful. Then you want to get a little bit of water in there. Just a little. And now, take like this here. Oh yeah. That's going to be really good. Sure this is just flavoring it. Put that all in there. There we go. Now mind you, it will smell a little bit like a barn if you use ketchup. Like literally like a chick barn. But hey, it's worth it. So now, what I do is I pull out the meat. Just allow to put the stuff in. Peppers. Okay. 
Now, I will go ahead and set this up and then show you. I just want to lightly... Just like pepper and salt. Lightly put vegetables into the meat. I should get that like an even layer. And now when you put this back in the oven for the next 20 to 30 minutes, it should look just like this. That looks delicious, by the way. It really does. Now, we put this bitch in the oven for a little bit longer. God, the heat coming off this thing is unbearable. So, put this in. I recommend if you're a TV fan, have a whole season or a couple of shows to watch as you wait. Because this bitch takes a long time to do. But again, the payoff is usually pretty good. So, I guess while that's waiting, and, and just in case it's a part two, I figure I want to show you guys how to set up a decent spot. Maybe not too fancy, but like, hey, you got people coming over, you want to make it look decent. So, let's do that. Let's give this thing a beautiful treatment. Proper knife. And... Proper piece. Ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba. Literally, you're looking at a tape measure. Should have a nice little setup like this. And it should look just like a face. It looks like he's saying, My hands are up, officer. Please don't shoot. So now, we come back here. Let's see, that sexiness is cooking. It's beautiful. So, tune back in a minute when we finally get this done and we do a taste test. Okay, it's going on 8.30. Food's done. My plate looks like this because I made the mistake of not checking that bag to make sure that the vegetables weren't boiled. I tried one bite, just about threw up on the broccoli, and I look at the bag, and that thing's been expired for about two months. Cook them up, and they're nasty. So, don't want that tainting the deliciousness of the pork chop. So now, we're going to take this pork chop here, cut a little bit off. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that meat. Looks so delicious. We'll try some without ketchup and with ketchup. Mm. 
much good. Like I said, if it wasn't for the vegetables tasting like shit, this would be a full meal. But sadly, the vegetables that I used were bad. So make sure to check your veggies, man. Now, let's try with some ketchup. I don't think it's good. Hmm. Surprised the vegetable juices didn't taint it. So now, cut it. Let's get this a bit of work. So now, get this thing looking red as if it just came out of the package out of the slaughterhouse. And. tell if better without ketchup or with ketchup. All I know is, meat looks great. Let's give you guys one last shot of it before I go ahead and end off the video. Look at that beautiful meat. Oh yeah. This has been Airsoft Fatty. Finally a cooking video getting uploaded. And I'll see you guys at noon.